First Chronicles chapter 29 wraps up the last chapter of this book as Israel's historic account finds itself transitioning from King David to King Solomon. As part of that transition, King David and all of Israel freely and joyously offer precious gifts of metals into the building of the temple of God. Once we add the value of all the metals, together the sum comes to a range between hundreds of millions of dollars to billions of dollars in today's economy. The cost depends on what the current value of precious metals is. Along with the preparations of the temple being set, we are also given a glimpse into David's heart, into his concern for his son becoming king. King David openly admits his worry over Solomon still being young of age and having a lack of experience. David asks, how is Solomon going to rule Israel and build the temple to the God who created everything? We all have that one or two or several things in our lives that seem insurmountable and no matter how much we try to wrap our minds to how we may solve it, it leaves us baffled. But after admitting David's concerns to his people and receiving the materials for building the temple, David is found praising God for his greatness, power, glory, strength, and victory. In the midst of praising the Lord, King David gives his concern for Solomon into God's hands. David prays, Grant to Solomon, my son, a whole heart that he may keep your commandments, your testimonies, and your statutes, performing all, and that he may build the palace for which I have made provision. All the time, the best thing to do when we are met with challenge is to admit concern, but then to also do as King David did, recognize God's power and majesty, and in turn, give our troubles into his hands. What are we holding back from God that we should give to him? Let's be encouraged that there is nothing that we face that is impossible for our God.